All right, this is Uncle Jam. We're back at it with another tutorial video here, and I am going to show you how to add in some extensions onto your blocks. This is going to be within the custom model series, and we're going to be going over some custom model things in this video. This is a little pack I whipped together, which I got the idea from the Better Grass and Leaves mod, but this requires no mods, not even Optifine or anything, just the pack. And it adds in some grass onto the blocks here. As you can see, this actually isn't tall grass. It's the grass block itself. And it adds in some more bushiness onto all of the leaves, which is my personal favorite here. So I'm going to show you how to do all of this in this video. And I think it's looking really cool. Let me show you what it looks like here if I were to bone meal some of the grass. So you can see this we can tell is all just non bone mealed grass. And there's some with the tall grass. So let me show you guys how to add in these things into your resource pack. If you're interested in checking out this pack, I will have a link in the description and you can download it down there. Here's a quick view without the pack. And here's a view with the pack. It's looking much more bushy and a lot more full. Alright, so first things first, we need to figure out which block we want to create our bushy extension on. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use the spruce leaf block. So I'm going to head into my resource pack folder. If you don't know how to get here, check out episode 1 in my resource pack series. And then I'm going to head into assets, into Minecraft, into textures, into blocks. And we are going to find spruce leaves. So let's see if I can find it in here. There it is here, leave spruce. And what I'm going to do is open it up with an image editing software. In my case, I'm using Pixelmator. And we will zoom in here. Any image editing software will work. And now we need to create an image that we want to be our bushy image. So my method, you can do this any way you want. But here's my method that I use to create bushy leaves and other bushy things. Come up here. We go to image. We increase our canvas size now the method to do this on your image software may vary however in mine it's just like so and i usually double up the canvas size so we get a canvas like so and then what i do is i move this to the corner and i create four of these images here and drag them around like so now we have a large spruce leaf image here that looks pretty good but then what I do is to make it look more natural is I just delete random chunks from around the sides or first I will merge the layers here. So I'm going to merge them and then I will delete random chunks from around the side like so. And until we get a nice bushy looking leaf. So let me just do this here and I'll get back to you. All right, so here's my bushy leaf texture here. You can spend as long as you want on this. I just did it pretty quickly for demonstration purposes. And now we need to export our image. So we're gonna head over to export and make sure it's a PNG file and we can name it anything we want. In this case, I'm just gonna call it leaf spruce bushy, just to separate it. Make sure there's no capitals or spaces in this name. We'll hit export and we should see it appear on our desktop. All right, there it is. My bushy spruce leaves are on the desktop. Now I will show you guys how I implemented them into the game. Now, basically, this is the pack here, which I have in the description below that you can download and take a look at. So what I'm gonna do here is walk you guys through what I did in this pack in order to create the bushy leaves and grass. Basically, I created a bunch of these textures. So let's head into textures, into blocks, you can see. Now, here's all the files I have in the folder. You can see I have all bushy textures for every single variant of leaf, as you can see here. So what I'll do is I'll install the spruce one in here just as a replacement for that one, because I also really didn't like the spruce one, which I've initially created. So there it is. It's within the blocks folder in my resource pack. That's where you want to install your bushy textures as well within the blocks folder. Now we need to edit up the custom models. So we're going to back out of here, back into the Minecraft folder, and we have block states and models. 
So let me show you how I managed to implement these into the pack. First things first, let's head into block states. Now, as you can see here, we have acacia leaves, birch leaves, dark oak, grass, which I'll cover in a second, jungle leaves, and all the different types of leaves. So since we're doing spruce, let's head into spruce leaves. I'm gonna pop it open with brackets, which is a free software, which allows you to view JSON nice and easily. So as you can see here, this is our block states file. Now, if you're confused on how these block states files work, I've already made a tutorial covering exactly everything that goes on within block states. So be sure you check that one out, should be in the top right hand corner. And we can see what we have going on. So we have variants, we have normal, and we have two variants. We have model spruce leaves bushy and spruce leaves bushy one. Now, Spruce Leaves Bushy 1 is just a little variant that I added in just so you can get some variation within your leaves so they're not all the exact same. Spruce Leaves Bushy 1 just mixes up the orientation of the leaves. So we're going to analyze Spruce Leaves Bushy. Now what this is is a model from the models folder. So when you're creating your pack, make sure that in the block states file, you point to the model that you want to show up. So we have spruce leaves bushy. So let's back out here and we need to find that now. So we're gonna head into models, into block, and we're gonna find spruce leaves bushy, which we can see is right here. Let's pop it open. Now let's see what's going on here. We have a parent to the file, which is block slash leaves bushy. And we have textures being defined here. We have all and bushy. So let's open up the parent and see what's going on in there. So we'll head over here and we'll head into leaves bushy. Here's the parent file. Now, as you can see, this also has another parent, which is block block, which just contains all of the display settings for default Minecraft blocks. So we're not going to pop that one open. We can see we have textures. Particle is set to hash all. And we have elements and we have three elements, one here one here and one here. Now, two of these are elements that I added in. This first element basically defines the block, the leaf block itself that vanilla Minecraft installs, the cube. These two elements define the bushy parts. I have made the bushy parts in a cross. So this is one of the pieces to the cross and this is the other piece to the cross. Let me show you what I mean in game here. We'll head into Minecraft and as you can see I have the leaf pulled up and we can see we have the actual leaf block itself which is the block and then we have this X or cross of bushy leaves so each one of the elements is defined in that text file the cube and each of these bushy sections here which we have two of so because those bushy sections are basically the same they're just in a different orientation, I'm just gonna walk you through one of these and what is exactly going on. So from, we have the points here where the leaf is starting from. Once again, I go over all of this in depth in a previous tutorial, which I'll link up there. So make sure you check that one out and it will help you provide some clarity to what's going on here so you know how to edit it. So we have from the X, Y, and Z coordinates to the X, Y, and Z coordinates. We have rotation, which is applying a rotation on the origin of this point and the axis of Y. The angle we're rotating is 22.5. Rescale is set to true. Shade is set to false because we don't want shadows. And the two faces we have because it's a 2D element are north and south in this case and west and east in this case but north and south and the parts of the texture we're using are x1 y1 0 and 0 x2 y2 is 16 and 16 the texture we are applying are hash bushy and tint index is set to 1 which means that the block will be tinted to match the leaf color now let's go over these texture variables so texture is hash bushy which is defined in this previous document under here which is bushy and we have block slash leaf spruce bushy is being applied to every spot where bushy shows up so it's being applied here here and here and here 
So let's just edit up a few of these values to show you what they do. So if you want to modify this document, you can go ahead and do so on your own. So let's start off with the angle. We'll change it. Remember, this can only be 22.5 or 45 or negative 22.5. So we'll change it to 45. Head in game. Let's see what happens here to the leaf. And we see it's now off centered. So I'm not sure if you'd want that, but you could change that and edit a few of the other parameters to try to make it work for you. So let me put this back to 22.5. There we go. Once again, if we change the tint index to nothing, so if I just erased the tint index here and saved it, that's going to be on the north face only. We reload this pack. We'll see on the north face, it's no longer tinted to match the leaf color. So I'm going to add that back in. There we go. And we can edit all of the different sizes of our leaves. So if we change this from negative 7 to negative 13 and hit save and we hit reload. We'll notice that it's stretching out a lot further on this side over here. And as you can see, that's just how you edit these little things here and there if you want to play around with these. Now to implement your very own leaf texture, all you have to do is where hash bushy, you need to head back to spruce leaves and you need to change this path to the name of your texture. Now if you named it the exact same as I have named it here, leaves underscore spruce bushy, it will work perfectly. So I hope that's making some sense and you guys are following. If you need a bit more clarity, be sure to check out those other tutorials and just keep watching this section on replay over and over so you can really break down what I am trying to talk about here. So that basically covers the leaves. Let's go over the grass. All right, so for the grass, let's back out here and let's start back in the block states folder and let's head into grass.json. Now, as you can see here, if you need more clarity, once again, on the block states, check out that video up in the corner there. But we have a multi-part block states file. So our first option here is apply, and it's applying the model grass normal, grass normal one, grass normal two, and grass normal three, all with an equal weight value. So every time it's going to select one of these four models to apply, no matter what. Then we have another option here when snowy is true so when there's snow on it this is once again one of the block states of grass when snowy is true apply the model grass snowed which allows it to apply the snowy grass when there's snow on the grass and then we have when snowy is false apply the model grass bushy with a weight of two grass normal with a weight of one and then we have a bunch of variants of the bushy grass. Grass bushy 1, bushy 2, bushy 3. Only when snowy is false will it apply these models. And it's always going to apply these models at the top. So that's how that one is working. It's a little bit complex, but let's take a look at what we have going on here in the models. So first, let's check out grass normal. Now, keep in mind, grass normal one, two, and three, these are all just slight variations. They're going to be the exact same as grass normal. Same with grass bushy one, two, and three here. They're just slight variations of the original model. So let's check out this model first, grass normal, and we'll also check out grass bushy to see what's going on. So we'll back out here and we'll head into models, into block, and we'll check out grass normal, which is right here, pop it open. So we see it has a parent of block grass. The textures are block dirt and all of this going on here. Basically what grass normal is, is the normal grass block. Just a standard grass block with no bushiness like you would find in everyday Minecraft. That's what this model is. Now we can further see that by opening up the parent, which is block grass here, which will pop open. And as we can see, this is basically the file we have in the default assets of Minecraft, which just defines the grass block. This is the actual block. This is the little overlay on the side, which turns green and everything like this is how it's displayed in the inventory and all the other spots. So grass normal is the normal grass block as it is displayed in the game. 
So now let's check out Grass Bushy. This is where we start to get inter it starts to get interesting. This is what I've added in here. So what we have right at the top, ambient occlusion is set to false. This is because if it's set to true, all of the grass starts putting shadows on each other and it all looks black, which we don't want. The textures we have here are better. Now this is a texture variable, which gets defined later on down the line down here. So every spot where we see hash better, it's going to apply block slash tall grass. Now this is just the regular vanilla tall grass texture. I didn't actually create any new textures to create this bushy grass. Next down the line, we have elements. And we have two elements here and here. And all this is, once again, is a cross. We have a cross here and a cross here. These are the two sections of the cross. And as you can see, we just have the same parameters as before, from and to, the rotation on the axis it, axes, and everything like that. Shade is false, ambient occlusion should not be in there. I will delete that right now, and it won't be in there when you get the download. And as we can see, this is the breakdown of the cross. Once again, we have the UV. Now this is where it gets interesting. Here's how I moved the grass to the top of the block. Basically, we have the to and from. So it's going to go from 16 to Y23. So that's above the 16 by 16 block. It's going from 16, which is at the very top of the block, Y equals 16, to Y equals 23, which is just a bit above the block. And as you may notice, there is seven pixels in between 16 and 23. And so therefore, down here in faces, what I have set is the UV, which is the texture variable, we have starting at y, x1, 0, y1, 0, x2 is 16, and instead of this being 16 and using the entire tall grass texture, we set it to 7, because that's the difference of 23 and 16. This allows it to display correctly in game. And once again, the texture is hash better. Tint index we have as zero and we have a cull face of up. And that's because if there's a block placed on top of the grass block, we don't need this to be rendered. Once again, south is pretty much the same. And this object is just the exact opposite, just the opposite direction on the block. So I hope that's making some sense. It's definitely a lot of talk there, but that's how I ended up working in the better grass and leaves into vanilla Minecraft. So I hope that helps you guys out in being able to figure out these better grass and leaves if you're attempting to install that into your own pack. And I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more videos to come.